form on the starters and set for a start away they go and an awesome start there for Dave Oliver as he heads his way down into turn one the rest of the riders now start to file into turns one and two as they head their way back up the hill and underneath the bridge Holden back there in the second place Carol now in third as they head their way down into gum trees rest of the riders charge on oh we've got one rider spearing off down there at turn four but he hangs on to it nicely and will regain towards the back of the pack riders now head their way back down through Siberia and head their way back up into the uh, left hand at seven Mark Lucky Gordon riding for mixed bikes and cars mixed bikes car tyres and of course PN Lubricants gets a bit of a work done down there at Speedy's as well he's in there in the, the minced of it all we'll see how he's going currently in around about 10th place at the moment and uh, Lucky's riding the Suzuki SV650 here this weekend and uh, has been improving all the time but we'll see how he stands as they uh, head their way onto the front straight away now Dave Oliver already starting to set a cracking pace Ethan Olden back there in second place Clint Clark, Anthony Carroll, Paul Dawson Lee Holmes, Kenny Croucher, Kira McGowan Mark Lucky Gordon holds on to that 10th place. Now he's in a, a furious battle. Taylor Ralph right on his tail now as they head their way underneath the bridge. And just in front of him we've got Kieran McGowan and Simon Dixon. Still some great battles going on throughout the field here. James Irvine in there riding for V4 uh, Raceworks as well. And he's in there. Kenny Croucher just trying to improve just a little bit as they go down into Siberia and right in behind him Mark Gordon and they call him lucky why I've got no idea but very lucky indeed as they fire their way down through Cops and then down through the fast section so still Dave Oliver on that uh, VDB Aprilia 550 going very well indeed of course riding for tyres for bikes and silk clean oils if you ever need tyres for your bikes he's the guy to see as he just fires off another lap and really starting to improve apparently had a bit of a moment uh, yesterday at our track day um, pushing a little bit hard here at the end of the front straight away but he's got it sorted and definitely on the gun here Ethan Holden and Clint Clark battling it out for second and third place. Anthony Carroll just moving up. Paul Dawson just in there behind him as well. Kieran McGowan goes through. Mark Lucky Gordon, the next one in there, still running in 10th place, but a big pack of riders in there behind him. Taylor Ralph, Dave Wright, Gary uh, Dixon and James Parker all want a piece of the action. But... Uh, Lucky is just uh, going very well there as he fires his way down into Siberia once again. He has got a big pack of riders right on his tail as they head their way back up to the left-hander at seven. So they head their way down through Cops once again. Still Mark Lucky Gordon holding on to that... Uh, position there with he's got probably five riders on his tail so he won't want to have a look over the shoulder that's for sure as uh, they head their way down into kangaroo corner and uh, start to work their way back onto the uh, Pirelli front straight away so race leaders come through Dave Oliver heads his way under the uh, the bridge once again really starting to uh, carve down into gum trees he's got a, uh, a full length of this back straight here lead as uh, the rest of them now very close to second and third place in there Ethan Olden and Clint Clark Anthony Carroll Paul Dawson and Lee Holmes all having a uh, good old battle 
Then back to Simon Dixon, Kenny Croucher, Kieran McGowan and Mark Gordon. Still holding on to that 10th place, doing very well. Ian Lubikins rider. As he fires it down through that section there indeed. And it's uh, a pretty tidy uh, gap there. It looks like uh, Dave Wright may have just got around Mark Gordon going down into Siberia there. But he's still got a, uh, a big battle on his hands with three laps remaining in this one. Rest of the riders start to head their way through. They head their way back around now, firing off another lap with a couple to go now. Dave Oliver really uh, starting to uh, open the taps on the VDB. He's got over the length of the front straight away to this battle for second place. Ethan Olden and Clint Clark as uh, they head their way up the front straight away. And it's back to Anthony Cowell, Paul Dawson, Lee Holmes in there as well. And then really starting to charge hard is Simon Dixon as he uh, moves right up onto the back of that pack. Let's have a look to see how Mark Lucky Gordon's going. He's back there in 11th at the moment battling with David Wright and Gary Dixon. So uh, they head their way up underneath the bridge. Got the, uh, the SV sounds very, very nice under the bridge there as he opens the taps. It looks like uh, Gary Dixon may have just gone up the inside of him down there at gum trees. Of course on the little uh, 250, but... Uh, The rest of them going very well. Taylor Ralph all over the back of uh, Mark Gordon there at the moment. The rest of them now start to uh, head their way around. Fastest lap of the race so far. A 124 there by Dave Oliver. Last lap borders out now for this uh, Formula 3 class. Proudly sponsored by Ray Clacker, Proprietary Limited. As Dave Oliver heads his way underneath the bridge now fires it through Clint Clark now moves up into second place on the little 125 he's been going very well this season in the uh, Southern Downs Challenge he'd probably be right in amongst the other the point leaders at the moment and he's been uh, pretty consistent Ethan Olden still goes through Anthony Carroll Paul Dawson Lee Holmes Simon Dixon Kieran McGowan Kenny Croucher David Wright, Gary Dixon, and then Mark Lucky Gordon goes through. And uh, still having his own private battle in there for 10th, 11th, and 12th place. So great stuff. Taylor Ralph is right on his tail. Taylor had a big, uh, big off down at Eastern Creek a couple of weekends ago. So she's uh, out riding. The Morawaki, but doing very well on it indeed. For the rest of them now, the checker flag will be nearly at the ready for our race leader. And here he goes. So that'll be Dave Oliver takes the win. Great stuff there as he comes around and finishes off very not and finishes off very nicely indeed. Second place coming around, and no doubt that will be uh, Clint Clark. So Clint Clark takes out second place there on the number 18 bike. Third place in this one was Ethan Olin on the 113 bike. And the rest of them coming on through there now. We'll look back and uh, we see... The rest of the riders coming on through.